2003, my grandpa had a barn and it caught on fire. And there was a barn that was right in front of it. It was only like 10 feet in front of it. And so we were concerned about the pigs that were housed inside the barn and whether or not they, they, we need to get them out or if they were going to burn to death if they stayed in there. So we immediately started opening up the, and I, this was one of my jobs. We started opening up the door. We started ushering all the pigs out of the barn. And it was really frustrating because the pigs kept running right back into the barn before we could get all of them out. And finally we got all of them out, but then the pigs would keep running back to the side of the barn and just want to stand there. And it was, we were trying to get them clear away from it. The barn, like I said, was only about 10 feet away, so the pigs, even at the gate, were only about 15 feet from it. We didn't want to have crispy bacon right on the spot. Uh, but as I thought about this story over the years and how the pigs just kept running back because that was their comfort zone. That was their home. That was what they wanted. I think about, you know, us humans and how we do that, too. We, we keep running back to things, even if they're not good for us. The, the flames would have killed the pigs, but they didn't know that. All they knew is that it wasn't comfortable. And sometimes we as humans do that too. Things might kill our dreams, yet we just keep running back to them because that's what's comfortable for us. They might kill the potential that we have, but we just keep going back. And uh, I think that's an important thing to remember is that we need to be willing to leave the comfort zone. Take that big first step. You know, an editor can never edit a book that's not written. A coach can never coach a player who never shows up to practice. And a college can never admit a student who never submits an 